Hey guys, my name is Kingy. I'm here from SDK Autos. Uh, today I'm going to show you an upgraded Porsche PCM entertainment system that's uh, that's running Android. I'm going to show you how it works, I'm going to show you the benefits, and I'm going to show you what you can do with the upgraded system. Um, a lot of people were pretty disappointed with Porsche when they announced a new PCM system was only going to support Apple CarPlay and didn't support Android Auto or have any real support for Android beyond the sort of basic Bluetooth functionality. So I decided to retrofit Android into the Porsche uh, PCM system. So I'm sitting here in my 911 991.2 and the first thing you'll notice if you're familiar with the Porsche PCM system is this is a different menu to what you're probably used to seeing. So in the top left hand side there the most obvious change is you can see a, a link or a button to Android. And I'll come back to that in a minute. I'll show you what that is and how that works. The other things you'll probably notice is we've got an option here for Google Maps. We've got an option here for, for YouTube. So um, obviously we've got a couple of additional things going on here to what we used to have in the, in the Porsche PCM. Um, but the first thing to, to note really is this isn't a replacement for the Porsche PCM system. You can, actually, you can actually click Home. You can go back and you can access all of the OEM standard Porsche PCM uh, functionality that you're used to. So, you know, we've, we've got the car system, we can bounce back, we can go into media, for example, all the same media contents in there. We've got our phone, we've got our navs, uh, etc. So you can still access all of the standard PCM functionality. But if I go ahead and uh, hold down the, the nav button here, you'll see we, we switch back into this alternate menu. And uh, this gives us access to, to full Android. The other thing to note here is this is an Android Auto. Uh, Android, Android Auto is actually a, a stripped down version of Android. It's a bit like um, Apple CarPlay is to iOS. This, this is uh, Android Auto actually has limited functionality, but this upgrade actually gives you the full Android experience as you would have on an Android smartphone or a tablet. So you can install any Android app on this system and uh, and use it at will. So um, for example, if I dive into the, the app menu here, You'll see we've got an app drawer, and uh, you'll see we've got all sorts of things in here. We've got Google Maps, for example. We've got Waze. Uh, I've got our Google Play services. I've, I've got Gmail on here, Spotify. Uh, I've got a weather app. All sorts of uh, you know standard Android app functionality. And the other thing you'll notice, of course, is this system works nicely with the the standard Porsche touchscreen. Um, really nice, vivid resolution, nice colors, very responsive. All works really well. Um, so being full Android, you can actually install, install custom launchers on this as well. So you'll see here I've, I've installed a, uh, a custom launcher. I've got things like the, uh, the date and time, obviously. I've got some major navigational buttons here, things like Spotify, Maps, Chrome, Google Play Store. Uh, these are actually configurable. So if I wanted to change the Spotify button to something else, for example, I can. I can go ahead and just pick one of the other apps that I want to have in that, that button placement there. And uh, I can actually do the same with that second line of navigation items here where I've got Waze and Outlook and whatnot. I can completely configure this however I want. Um, so it's you know, really powerful, much more powerful than uh, Apple CarPlay or Android uh, Auto. So um, I'll show you some of the functionality of some of these items. So as I mentioned, it's you know, you've got the full function here. So if I go to Maps, for example, you'll see I've got access to the full uh, Google Maps experience. So I can come out, for example, I can, I can zoom out, I can navigate around i can get my uh directions from where i where i am at the minute to you know to anywhere you'll see my directions option pops up and if i hit that it's going to start to give me some some uh, options to navigate to where i want i can find things like what's around me i can get restaurants you know i can get hotels i can get all that sort of standard uh information that you get from the full google uh you know apps experience so much better than what you get on the, the Porsche PCM, of course, the standard uh, experience. Or, you know, if you prefer Waze, you can go ahead. You can use Waze as your major navigation system. I like to use both, so I've got both options there. I tend to use Google Maps a bit more, so I've got that in a primary place. But, uh, you know, it's up to you. Whatever apps you want to install and use for navigation, you can use on this system. Um, you'll notice I've then got things like, you know, email. I've got my, my Gmail account there. I've got Outlook as well linked up, so I can read my email on the go. Uh, I've got full Google Play Store, so I can go in I can install um, any any apps that I want to install for the, the system, I can just go ahead and grab them and install them. You know, you, you can run games on this, for example, if you want to. 
Um, you'll notice I've got down here, I've got Netflix. So I can actually, you know, jump in and I can, I can stream a full, anything from Netflix, full videos, movies, whatever I want. I can, I can watch them on the fly while I'm driving, while I'm moving. Um, you know, obviously great for the passenger. And uh, you'll notice, you know, the resolution's really good. The colors are really good. It's, uh, it's nice and punchy. The system's very fast. Um, so there you go. At the moment, I've got the, the audio muted, but I'll, I'll show you how the audio works in a moment as well. But uh, as you can see, you've got full Netflix. Um, similarly, of course, with YouTube, I can dive into YouTube. I've got full YouTube here. So I can pull up uh, the trailer for the new Deadpool movie, I think this is. I can scroll back. Load this up. There you go. So, uh, you know, really, really powerful in terms of what you can actually do with this compared to the, the standard PCM or, or indeed even the uh, Apple CarPlay, which is, uh, you know, quite limited in functionality. Um, you can install things like Facebook on here, of course. You can have Twitter, any of your social apps, um, any of your messenger apps. You could have WhatsApp on here. You can have any of those communication apps. And, uh, of course, you can have things like, you know, Google Chrome. And this is the full Google Chrome. This isn't like a stripped down version again. This is your full uh, mobile uh, apps, uh, sorry, mobile browsers that, uh, that you install as, as you will on any other system. So you can see here I'm on the Porsche uh, Twitter page. I can go back to Google. And uh, what I want to search for, I search for Porsche, of course. Load that up. Uh, the other thing that's going on here actually is uh, of, of interest is this system is actually linking into the PCM. It's using the PCM's Wi-Fi. So I've actually I've got a SIM card inserted in here, and uh, the system's actually running off that SIM card, off the PCM SIM card. You can see it's nicely integrated. And this is what I call a, a stealth installation. So there's no visible changes to the exterior of the uh, of the the car anywhere. Um, I didn't want to modify the car. I didn't want to have visually any sort of differential. I just wanted the upgrade of the, the hardware and the software running the entertainment systems. So that's what I've got here. Um, one of the best things about this upgrade for me uh, is Spotify. So I use Spotify for all of my music. And uh, you can see here I can I can dive straight into Spotify. I can pull up album art and all sorts of things like that. And um, some of the other great things, if I, I'm just going to... I'm just going to close down some of these apps in the back. Oh, sorry, I can I can switch. I can close down apps in the background. I'm just going to do that. I'm going to close down a few, uh, just to make sure I'm getting my uh, Spotify running through my Bluetooth. So this system is running by Bluetooth. Um, I'm going to listen. I'm going to want to listen to this on this car. So um, you can see if I turn the music up, turn the volume up a little bit. got your full full high quality uh, definition sound and uh, the other great thing about this system is that it actually integrates into the uh, the Porsche dash as well so you'll notice here I'm listening to Michael Jackson at the minute um, I've set up my my joker button to switch to the next on the, on the steering wheel my joker button switches to the next song so there you go bit of smooth criminal I'll start playing in a moment I can I can seek ahead You see, I've got the same up here. So it's fully integrated into the system. Works really nicely. Uh, the other thing you'll notice, you know, it's really fast and the quality is, is fantastic. So um, great system upgrade. I've, I've been running this for a couple of weeks now and just trialing it out and, and working out a few bugs. Um, system works beautifully. It's really nice. I'm just going just gonna to mute the music again for a moment. Um, fantastic upgrade. I recommend to... Anybody who's uh, using a PCM, even if you're not using Android, because this system doesn't rely on Android Auto, you, you can actually use this if you've got an Apple iPhone. You'll still have all of this full functionality. The, it's a closed system. It's not actually... You, you don't need to plug your phone in to run this system like you do with Apple CarPlay. You don't need to have an Android phone to access some of the functionality like you do with Android Auto. This is a full standalone system. It's uh, it's really powerful, really great. And uh, of course, you've still got all of the, the functionality of the standard Porsche PCM as well if you, if you want to go back and use that. Um, you can actually use the best of both as well. So I can go ahead and I can have the nav system from Porsche PCM up here. And then down here, I can have Google Maps or, or Waze running and uh, you know have the best of both worlds. You can make phone calls off the system. I've still got all of my full 
uh, phone integration here as well. If I scroll down to my phone, that's all still working. Uh, everything works really nicely. Um, you've also got things like voice control. So I can go into Google here and pull up the voice control. Okay, Google, search for Porsche. And uh, of course, the voice system will go away and there you go. So very powerful system. Just wanted to show you guys what you can actually do with this. It's, it's, it's fantastic. Uh, if you want to see a installation video, uh, leave a comment below. If I get enough interest about um, you know the installation process and how I actually got this system in the car, uh, it's relatively straightforward if you've ever done any sort of uh, electrical work or mechanical work to your car. I've done plenty of these sort of system upgrades in BMWs, uh, Mercedes, Audis, and a whole range of Japanese systems. I've been doing electrical installs for, for a couple of years. Uh, but this is definitely a, a fairly simple installation. It's it, it's nothing too complicated. So uh, happy to show you guys. Um, just let me know in the comments if that's interest, and, and I'll go ahead and do that. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Remember to subscribe for more Porsche and uh, other sort of upgrade installation uh, videos. Let me know what you want to see, and uh, I'll be sure to film that for you. Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy your, uh, your PCMs and your Porsches. Cheers.